Apple and Samsung. Now, on the one hand, I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, which has a whole lot of awesome looking watch faces. You have a lot of sport mode with customizable workout displays and lots of reply options when it comes to the messages. The Apple Watch 2 isn't as new, but still pretty new. You get a great looking smartwatch with built-in GPS and offline storage for your music, plenty of apps that you can download from the Apple Store, and today we will compare these two watches to see which one is best. Alright, let's start off slowly with the price. Both watches are available in the sizes 44 and 40mm. Now right here I have the 40mm version of these two watches and the Apple Watch SE2 will cost you 300 euros in the Apple Store and the Samsung will cost you 320. That means there isn't such a big difference between the price but you will still save 20 euros by getting the Apple Watch. The biggest thing that you have to mention is that the Apple Watch is only compatible with iOS devices and the Samsung Watch goes only with Android smartphones. With that being said, let's start with some of the specs and the design of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. The Galaxy Watch 6 comes with a large 1.3 inch Super AMOLED screen and sapphire crystal glass and an always on display mode. A big improvement is the brightness level. The older version came with 1000 nits, this one now has 2000 nits which is definitely bright enough for some workouts out in the sun. This watch comes with 16 gigs of internal storage which should be more than enough for all of your games, pictures and apps and is water resistant up to 5 ATM. As for the case, you can expect to get an aluminum frame and a haptic bezel with which you can scroll through your apps and tiles. If we take a closer look, you can definitely see that you get a clean cut on the top of the watch and it doesn't temper off towards the edges. On the side, you will find two physical buttons and both are customizable. Like you can connect any of your apps to the upper button or you can open up your recently opened apps with the lower one or by long pressing, you will get to the voice assistant. The Apple Watch SE2 has a 1.57 inch Retina LTPO OLED display that lights up with 1000 nits which is definitely not bad. On the side you will find two physical buttons. The upper one is rotatable and you can scroll through your messages and notifications and by long pressing it you will get to the Siri voice assistant. The lower one is also customizable but by default it will take you straight to your docks. This watch comes with 32 gigs of internal storage and 1 gig of RAM and just like the Samsung watch it is water resistant up to 5 ATM. If you take a close look at the case you see that you get an aluminum frame glass front and a sapphire crystal back. Now let's check out the battery life and both watches aren't that great. The Apple Watch SE2 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 may charge super fast in a matter of minutes but the Apple Watch only lasts about 18 hours on normal usage without the always in display mode and the Galaxy Watch 6 lasts about one and a half days with the always in display mode enabled. Compared to the likes of a Garmin or a Huawei watch, these two aren't good at all but right here the Samsung watch is definitely better. As for the activity tracking, both the Apple and the Samsung watch have plenty of sport modes. You get different walking and running workouts, triathlon, water and winter sports, ball sports and a lot more. Just on the Galaxy Watch 6 you can also customize your workout display. Over here you can change up to 6 different metrics like you can go with your pace, mileage, time, heart rate and 2 more. But you can also just choose 2 different if that is enough for you. On the Galaxy Watch you also get different running courses like light and advanced running and others. The Apple Watch has basically the same workouts but right here you get no option to customize your workout display. You can set some goals and alerts and even create your own workout but can't customize your workout displays. Now you have to know that the accuracy of the Apple Watch regarding all of your health and workout metrics is off the charts. This one is basically spot on. The Samsung Watch 6 can't compete with that but it can compete with the level of the accuracy when it comes down to the GPS workouts. So like I just mentioned the Apple Watch is great when it comes down to tracking your health but on the Apple Watch SE2 you only get a heart rate tracker that will track all day and all night, a sleep tracker which tells you your different sleep cycles and the user metrics like sleep duration and when you fell asleep as well as you have some breathing exercises and cycle tracking for the women. The Samsung watch has the same functions plus you get an ECG, blood pressure, stress, SpO2 tracking and a body composition feature. So overall you get much more in terms of health tracking with the Galaxy Watch 6. 
The biggest reason to get these two watches are the smart features and let's first up see what they have in common. On the Apple and the Samsung watch, you get a voice assistant with which you can start a timer for you. You can look up some articles in the internet and start calls. It's Siri for Apple and Google or Bixby for the Samsung watch. Since both watches have a built-in mic and a speaker, you can answer and decline incoming calls. Plus, you can start calls from your watch by either punching in a number in a dial pad or you can look up the number in the context book. Both watches have internal storage. The Samsung has 16 gigs and the Apple 32 gigs of internal storage, which is more than enough room for apps that you can download from the Google Play or the Apple Store. There are things like Amazon Music, YouTube Music, Spotify, games, and other apps. Like this, you can download music right to your watch and listen to them offline. Now you also have a compass, a stopwatch, timer, alarm, and a weather app, lots of gesture controls to answer and decline calls on the Samsung watch, or even navigate on the Apple Watch. Stuff that you will only find on the Apple Watch SE2 is a reminder to take your medicine and pills and a noise app that lets you know how loud your surroundings are. Green is okay, yellow is not as good, and red is way too loud for your ears. On the Apple Watch, if you have more than just one watch face, you can easily rotate through them by swiping to the side on your home screen. This is not a thing for the Samsung Watch. On the Samsung Watch 6, you can actually not only change your text size, but also the text style. There are five different options for you, like a cookie style, rosemary, and others. Both watches also have a unique way to attach new straps. The Samsung has a button, and on the Apple Watch, you just have to slide a new one in and press the button to slide it out. Pretty easy. And guys, that's it for today. Now, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I guess with that one being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.